Welcome back! I'm Tyler, you're watching Scarfing Scarves, and it has come to my attention that I have neglected to tell the story of how someone decided to host a J-fashion-friendly con five feet from the fracking ocean. I got to hang out with seagulls that were far more civilized than their namesake on certain boards. And I maintain that statement even though I watched them dive bomb a half-naked lady with a cake in her hands like their last meal depended on bodily assaulting a beachgoer with multiple witnesses. So honestly, just like seagulls. Pro tip! Don't go boobs bobbling about with a full pastry on your hands. It won't end well, and the chances some freak with a GoPro will post it to the internet are incredibly high. I am some freak, some freak was me, and I regret nothing, least of which attending a con in Galveston, Texas called OniCon, which you out-of-staters will now care about because I fracking said so, and not doing so means you miss out on the best fashion-oriented experience the U.S. has to offer. Hands down, this gives hecking Teco a run for its money. And that's saying something, considering Teco had angelic mother flipping pretty. Sure, there were fish fucking fury Seriously, not 20 feet away, but I was still happy to be invited. This godforsaken frill fest has the utter audacity to be six hellish hours away from me. It's past the cursed wastelands of Houston because God wants me to suffer, and I would drive it all over again just to return because this event has the gall to actually care about its J-fashion track, meaning I actually want to go back. I won't regale you with every detail because I neither remember nor feel like going through a pile of shaky cam to show you, but I believe the impression of an event is more important than their finer details. I'm speaking of how the shebang made me feel. And if there's any balm to the knowledge that Canada has better tea, hecking KCON and a bunch of my friends that necessitate international flights just to hang out with, it's that OniCon is in Texas and all you maple syrup supremacists can do about it is ride your functioning public transit to Ottawa before realizing those bitches don't even allow Uber. Score one for US of A and 99 for the poor Canadians who keep getting caught in the crossfire of my misplaced rage. Getting to the actual point of this screed, I had an unbelievable good time at this event. I've experienced it both as an attendee and as a guest. And the only criticism I have to offer is maybe consider taking your damned island, grabbing the edges, and pushing it closer to cities that matter. I stole that joke from Lewis Black. This post was written by the Dallas Gang. I believe the sound you're hearing is my Houston friends never inviting me to their houses again. This con was good enough for my frizzy-haired self to risk going full puffball in the humidity of the fracking ocean next door. I looked like an electric socket fucked a porcupine all weekend. We're talking love child of a Chia pet and Bob Ross level of poof. And I would still go back. Because these people give a shit. Their J-fashion programming is full of people who are talented and funny at levels that takes my imposter syndrome and shoves a funnel down its throat before filling it with gasoline. Meaning I run on a consistent existential crisis of identity all weekend, this time with people I like, which beats doing it alone, otherwise known as the other 364 days in the year. These people book awesome brands Brands, guests and designers like it's nothing, and treat them like they mean the world. The tea party they throw is styled in a way that should make inferior ones spit blood in shame. And all said and done, I had a deliriously good time with Lore, Holly, and the other guests and organizers behind the fashion track because these people pour jet fuel on your impression of awesome and launch the entire concept into the stratosphere. The after party being one of the best I've been to, hands down, I'm telling you, no competition, all other cons eat your heart out absolutely has no bearing on the situation. Seriously though, watch Lovely Lore's much superior video on this con if you want fracking visuals. This channel runs on wordplay and spite. You can go to an actually professional YouTuber if you want something of fracking quality. Because that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you to OniCon for having me out, despite what I presume was a number of sane people cautioning you against it. My deepest apologies. And before you leave to wonder why anyone would ever make the mistake of having me on any kind of guest list, I'd like to thank my patrons who keep this ravenous salt trap kicking along. You guys are the best thing since full back shuring. And should you like to join their number, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews for more content that is fiercely shaken, not stirred. It's best not to think about that one for too long. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.